party people. I have a grocery haul for you today. I went to Publix and funny slash awful story. I went to Costco last week, spent $660. I had this massive haul for you guys, but my memory card somehow like ugh, the footage got ruined. I was real upset about it, but life goes on. Anyway, the moral of that story is how much I spent on food was actually around $200. I bought a ring security system and a ring door alarm or doorbell, whatever. And then I bought some stuff for the pool, boring stuff like chlorine stuff. Anyway, so the food was like less than $200, but I had barely any of it. Cause you know, Costco food, it doesn't look like a lot, but it lasts for a while. So we have to have, we have some fruit and we have some stuff in the freezer. Anyway, I went to Publix today, short story long, and I spent $190, so around the same amount, and it looks like a heck of a lot more food. So I'm gonna show you everything I got. I also, who am I? I meal planned, I had a list with me. I'm like a brand new person. I'm not throwing up 24 <laughs> seven. I'm still feeling nauseous, still a little dizzy, still getting over it, I'm 18 weeks. So, I'm getting there. So this is the haul as a whole, everything. Does it look like $190 worth? I don't know, I'm already out of breath, this is ridiculous. Okay, got some zucchini. Oh, did I tell you I meal planned? I think I did. So I will share with you the meals as I go throughout, and then if I forget one, I'll just go over my list of what I plan to make afterwards, okay? So zucchini, that's just because I love zucchini. Onions and black beans. Oh my gosh, you just saute that and it's like a good lunch. It's one of my faves. I got some romaine hearts. I haven't had a lot of lettuce because if you have ever had morning sickness <laughs> or like really severe morning sickness and thrown every single thing you've ever eaten up, you'll know that lettuce is not enjoyable to throw up. So I stayed away from it. It's hard to digest, harder to digest. You know what I mean? So, uh, I finally bought some. I'm eating salads again, like a normal human being. I feel like I can eat healthy again, which I definitely got um, like fruits and vegetables. Actually, we have some fruits left over from Costco. Did I already say that? I feel like I already did, but who knows? Okay, spinach. I plan on making stuffed shells. What? Something I don't think I've made in like eight years. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, I, the last time I made it was like before we went dairy free. We're not dairy free anymore. Don't get me wrong. But this lettuce looks a little sad. I mean, spinach. But it is sausage and spinach stuffed shells. It looks really good. Found it on Pinterest. Oh, I can't breathe. I also got some Georgia peaches. These guys smell so good. I was just walking through the produce aisle. I didn't plan to pick these up, but the smell was wafting. So, of course, I picked some up. Which, I will say, I have been like grocery shopping on the... What's that app called? Like Instacart or something, which is amazing because I haven't been able, like I haven't had the energy, bed rest, all that stuff. So I haven't been able to grocery shop and that was a lifesaver. And it saved me a lot of money because I wouldn't have bought the peaches otherwise. Do you know what I mean? I also got three onions over there. I should have got more, but I just always think at Costco, I can get 20 onions for probably the same price as three, you know? I also got tomatoes. Yes, again, who am I? Um, tomatoes because I want to make salsa. <laughs> if you saw on my Instagram, my sister makes like the best homemade salsa. The best. It's so spicy. You sweat the whole time you're eating it, but somehow it's so enjoyable. So um, I got. I don't know. I don't even know if these are the right tomatoes to buy, but I think they are. So I got these tomatoes, the cilantro, garlic, limes, and then I think red onion. Is that all you put in salsa? I'm pretty sure. I wanted to make a salsa garden real bad and then realized I don't have a green thumb and everything I plant dies. So I gave up on that dream a while ago. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll start that dream up uh, soon. I don't know. We'll see. I got some gala apples. They're nice and crunchy. The kids like them. I also have green apples in the fridge. I love to eat green apples with peanut butter. Great snack. Um, and then green beans. Oh my gosh, you guys. The other day we had like a southern like barbecue kind of dinner and I made pulled pork and I made these amazing green beans. They were so good, but I don't, I think they're called like southern style green beans. I didn't saute them. I just threw the green beans in with some bacon, cooked bacon and onions, of course, and then some uh, chicken stock. Oh my goodness. I let that boil, I guess, for around an hour. 
Lord. Alex said that they were the best green beans he's ever had. So I think I'm going to make them again. I also got, what is this? Bread, some bread flour, not bread. I plan on making bread. I also shared with you on Instagram that I want to buy the, the Griffiths cookbook. I, I don't know. I don't really watch them on YouTube, but I follow their journey. You know what I mean? Anyway, I just think their family is so awesome and they have a bread recipe, which is on YouTube. So I plan to make it, but then the rest of their recipe book, I don't know if it's any good. I'm like this close, this far away from buying it. Let me know if you have it, love it, hate it, whatever. Anyway, uh, so I plan to make bread. Also, maybe cinnamon rolls. Also, pizza dough, because I plan to make strombolis. And, well, you always need bread, right? Okay, I got some mangoes. These were five for five. Oh, what a great deal for a mango. They must be in season. Went over that stuff. Bananas. And then these were buy one, get one free. So, um, but they were in the fridge section. So, I don't know if I have to keep them cold so i only got four of them i don't know if wentworth will eat them all or if they go bad i don't know i didn't have enough patience to like sit there and read the expiration date i got some corn 10 well not some it's a lot of corn 10 ears of corn for three dollars is that a good price i felt like it was lie to me and tell me it was <laughs> so part of me thinks maybe sometimes it's like 10 for a dollar no Yes, maybe more toward 4th of July. I don't know, whatever. A lot of me and tell me I got a good deal. I got some petite red to potatoes. I bought a huge honking thing of like those little, uh, you know, creamy potatoes from Costco. Ate them all. It's been a week. I got frozen broccoli. I always love to have that on hand for a quick dinner that I throw together. It's just, you know, a vegetable that's always fresh. You know, uh, I got this mild sausage. I plan to make gnocchis, which I shared on my Instagram. Um, I've been sharing on my Instagram because I haven't been on YouTube. You know what I mean? So follow me there if you want to. But I shared with you that Eleanor and I made gnocchis, homemade gnocchis. And um, I plan to make them again in the crock pot. Just throw some sauce in there. And then, uh, you know, sausage as well. I think that'll be a good little meal. But I ran out of Italian seasoning, so of course I got that. Parsley flakes. Uh, this is ricotta cheese for, or should I say it the Italian way, ricotta. I'm kidding. You know how like some Italians are so crazy about the way that they pronounce certain words? Especially, oh, I don't even know her name. The one lady on the Food Network show. People give her so much crap. It's hilarious, but kind of feel bad for her. Okay, I got some uh, tomato sauce. What is this called? Spaghetti sauce. Nice and easy. These are the larger jars. They were buy one, get one free, and they were only like three bucks. And when I make uh, sauce, I tend to use two jars anyway, because a lot of the times we have guests or extra people over. Well, those would be guests. Or <laughs> I just need more. So uh, I just got the larger jars. Why not? I also got some oil. Uh, we're out of it and double chocolate muffin mix. That was a mistake. I thought I was picking up two chocolate chunks. I clearly did not read both of the packages. I just grabbed them both, assuming what was behind one was the other. Never assume things, you know what I mean? Got some bacon because everything, literally everything tastes better with bacon. Corn dogs for the lunch, for the kids. What else did I get? Oh, some tzatziki sauce. I wanna make gyros. Heroes, I can't even. <laughs> People say it's like hero, but without the H, am I right? I just, you guys know what I mean, you know? I got some pitas over there as well. This is ground sausage for the stuffed shells. And then I wanna make strombolis. I think I explained that to you, which I have a banging pizza dough recipe that I rarely have been using lately. But whatever, when I say lately, I mean like the past four years. <laughs> so I'm about to bust it out again. I got some roast beef. Uh, what else? Ham and salami. And this roast beef is boar's head. Thank you. But they gave me the Publix price. Did they give me the Publix price? Oh, they better have given. Oh, they did give me the Publix price. Uh, because they ran out of uh, Publix. So, thank you, Publix, for honoring your price. I really appreciate that. These are some shells for when I make stuffed shells. And I only got one of these packages. I don't know what I was thinking because my kids literally will eat six in a day, especially if they have friends over. So that means not only they will be eating. Do you know what I mean? Whatever. Uh, turkey meatballs for the... Uh, what is this? Rice over here. 
for everything. Oh, I plan to make salmon, probably tonight, because it's a quick and easy meal. I cleaned out my, oh my gosh, I also shared this on the Instas, Instagrams. I, sh I, what did I do? I cleaned out my fridge on Instagram. Well, I, I cleaned it out at my house. And then, later that day, I cleaned out my freezer, and I found some salmon, which I have been looking for, can I tell you? So, I plan to make some salmon tonight. I love just to pile it on top of rice, jasmine rice, but I just, I don't have a container for jasmine rice to keep it in my little cupboard up there, so I need to work on that. But, I love to make it, well, I have a recipe. I don't know if I've ever shared it with you. I might have, but it's basically, oh, let me just, show you this stuff this sweet chili sauce i add some things to it but if you want to be lazy and not add anything to it you can just use that sauce on top of salmon yes i said salmon and it is so <laughs> delicious on top of rice i think i add like a uh, soy sauce and maybe some orange juice and yeah i don't know what else i don't have the recipe but you know what i mean i bake beans that's another thing i like doctored up I don't know why I'm using finger quotes, but baked beans, country style. And then I add a little bit of brown sugar. I add some more beans in there. I add a tiny bit of mustard and bacon. Oh, you guys, Alex and his brother were over, they were oogling over my Southern, you know, the green beans and stuff, my Southern style uh, dinner. So I thought since they were such a hit, I might as well make it again. You know what I mean? Don't break something if it isn't fixed. Don't fix something if it isn't broken. But bushes, beans, they're not broken and I'm fixing. Anyway, moving on. Cheese, I got a lot of cheese for this stromboli. Do you add cheese to strombolis? I know you add cheese to calzones or you don't. I know it's calzone. I'm not an idiot. I just make things fun. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I think I, oh, oh, stuffed shells. That's why I need cheese for. Also this kind of cheese. Plus I just found out, cause I don't normally buy this cheese. Alex bought it one day when I was super sick and making meals for the kids. He found out that the kids really like just pasta and cheese. Super healthy. <laughs> so I thought I'd buy it again. I also got some more cheese, sharp cheddar cheese for sandwiches. I think I forgot some things. Those Cape Cod chips, oh my goodness. Salt and vinegar back there. I could literally eat an entire bag in one sitting. I don't recommend, but I do. <laughs> I do it personally, so I, uh, I lived to tell the tale. And then I got some original, and then, oh, scoops because I don't know, guys. All the chips I've been buying from Costco, they just taste off. They just taste, I don't know if it's my taste buds are off or whatever, but those scoops, they never disappoint. And then this mashed potatoes, oh yes, I'm making meatloaf. I bought red meat from, say, from Costco last week. Can you believe it? Again, who am I? I don't know, but I bought red meat. Uh, for some reason, when I'm pregnant, I always crave red meat. It's, I know it's probably an iron thing. Maybe not. Maybe it's just my taste buds going back. I mean, I also crave mac and cheese when I'm pregnant, too. That's not an iron thing. I think it's more of like a comfort food. You know what I mean? I digress. I'm making a uh, meatloaf, so I thought mashed potatoes and maybe corn would be great with that. Yes? No? I don't care what you think. That's what we're going to eat. <laughs> I also got almond milk two four of them and then what is this rice dream <laughs> wentworth calls it ice cream uh it's alex's favorite it's never on sale this thing is four bucks but he loves the snaws out of it uh so i give it to him like as a treat oh speaking of treats do you notice do you notice something no treats no chocolate I almost got the pre-made cookie dough. Oh my lord, that stuff is so good, but so expensive. It's like six bucks for a little tub, worth every penny. What else? Almost got a frozen cake. Uh, that is worth every penny. It's only like $3 for an in a little square cake. I don't know how they make money. It's not here, because I refrained. But next week, I may not be as lucky, you know what I mean? I got some sandwich rolls. These are the best, and they're so fresh because they literally came out of the oven. Um, as I was, I had to ask for them. And he was like, oh, we don't have any. Wait, let me go check. He went to check. He's like, here they are. And he put them right in the bag for me. Oh my, smells so good. Also got rye bread with caraway seeds. 
Oh, if you've never had this, well, what are you doing with your life? I don't know. I can't tell you the answers, but I will tell you that this stuff is absolutely delicious and you should pick it up if you haven't had it yet. I like to eat with salami, so good. I also got some hamburgers for the pulled pork. I already have the pulled pork and stuff. And then these are the pita breads or whatever they are, the flatbreads for the gyro. Yeah, so that is everything that I got from Publix. All the meals, oh wait, I, I don't know if I shared with you all the meals, hold on, I think I did. Okay, so I have my list. Good thing you can't see my handwriting because let me tell you, it's worse than a doctor. Maybe, probably not. Okay, meatloaf, salmon. I put on here chicken marabella. But then when I was at the store, I thought, nah, I don't want to, it's too much work. Okay, stuffed shells, uh, pulled pork, gnocchi, stromboli, gyros, heroes, hero, hero, hero. Can I have a high, high row? Gyro. How do you say it, Alex? Hero. Gero. 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 What the hell? Gero. 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 Who cares? <laughs> and then salsa. That was everything on my list. Oh, I'm sweating, guys. I'm not going to put all this away right now, I'll tell you that much. I'm going to sit right over there and probably grab a snack. <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out. I hope I gave you some like meal inspiration ideas or what have you. Anyway, I always enjoy your company. Wait, Eleanor wants to say something. What? Oh, look at that. Most important question, what am I gonna eat for a snack? But more importantly, thanks so much for hanging out and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye. You're stuck in here and it's so funny. Oh, sorry, I don't want to talk. You think this? Looking good, Dad. It's all right. It's like you lost 10 pounds. What happened? Just in your stomach area, though. Let it go. Daddy! This is a good day, yes, I need. Well, what's your name? To start the rebuilding of life. The roads that they open are many When the old one's gone under the knife And I can feel the sun on my skin Beginning to thaw Clear a lot as any